U.S. President Joe Biden's communal endorsement evaluation has reduced to 39% this month, pending its bottommost peak since he assumed office, Reuters narrated. The outcomes of the April 14-16 Reuters Ipsos poll indicated an unexceptional decline from last month, when 42% of those who took part in the opinion polls said they sanctioned of Biden's overall ruling capabilities and ability to keep America safe economically and security-wise as the commander-in-chief of the United States of America. Citizens are always looking out for the guy who is relatively competent to oversee internal and foreign affairs of the country. His approval rating dropped virtually instantaneously after he was sworn into office in January 2021. The prevalent decline in his endorsement assessment was in the mid-last year, when only 36% of those polled said they vouch for him. Since then, the percentage of participants who showed a constructive opinion of Biden has stayed tight to that figure. Last Friday, President Joe Biden reiterated that he would take part in the next presidential elections. This political process will resume next year, but he has not yet formally inaugurated his electioneer. Biden is not projected to experience fierce contest for the Democratic candidates, but his support ranking appears decimated by past benchmarks. For a considerable time, his tenure, which covered from 2017 to 2021, Donald Trump also appreciated a reasonably comparable level of municipal admiration. The lowermost proportion was documented in December 2017, when only 33% of poll participants gave an optimistic valuation of his effort. Poll participants up to date Reuters Ipsos poll most often said the US's major drawback was the economy, with one in five respondents perceive the identical opinion. One in ten participants see lawbreaking which is termed as crime rate and the environment as the primary issue in the United States of America. A conceivable limelight at the end of the tunnel for Biden is the fact that 68% of those polled said they have conflicting view to the federal courts banning the FDA-approved abortion drug Mifepristone. The Reuters Ipsos poll was piloted among 1,029 adult U.S. citizens using a nationally illustrative sample. Regardless of the polls that do not really count it comes to governance. It is the duty of the commander-in-chief to have a holistic assessment of the broader economy of the nation. This is the crux of ruling the nation to make sure jobs are created and the middle class and lower class progress in life with healthcare being the center of development. Poll respondents will base their argument on healthcare, jobs, childcare, general economy, national security, education and Medicare. Poll rise for Biden will determine how best he is governing and providing for the citizens of United States of America. His party's unpopular, but the Republican Party and Donald Trump, who's been unusually prominent for a former president, even less popular. So it sets up a, a question here for our political climate for the coming year, heading into 2024. What we're going to find out in 2023 among Democrats, there's not a lot of enthusiasm for running Biden for a second term. But... Because Democrats had such an unexpectedly positive midterm, you're not seeing Democrats lining up to challenge him. It looks like he is going to run again. No indications yet of a major challenge to Biden. And so it sets up the big question on the Republican side. This is from an ABC Washington Post poll the other day. Do Republicans want Trump? Or do they want someone else to be their candidate in 2024? And they are torn down the middle on that. And for the Democrats' standpoint, they were able to defy political gravity in 2022 because of the lingering presence of Donald Trump. Are Republicans going to decide in 2023 that they are still the party of Trump or that they are a different party? It's a key question.